Hi Leah, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing your general love reading. Okay, and please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Alright y'all, if you want to book a personal reading with me, um, you can look in the description box down below. It'll tell you everything that you need. And just to let you guys know that I'm only accepting PayPal. So if you're looking to book a personal reading with me, um, you can PayPal me at jlovestale at gmail.com, okay? Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are doing well for yourself. And we're going to get straight into your reading, alright? We're going to look into your person to see how they feel about you. And then we're going to look into how you feel about them, okay? Alright, spirit. And yes, I'm in a different setting, you guys. Um, I'm actually in the same setting in the same setting but in a different area <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna look and see a person all right let's see how your person is feeling about you okay how they feel about you and what's the energy between the both of you guys right now okay <clears throat> all right spirit how does this person feel about my leo how does this person currently feel about my leos for may 2021 how does this person feel about my Leos for May 2021, Spirit? How does this person feel about my Leos? Okay, we have the world and the five of cups. Okay, you could be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But your person is feeling, um, they're missing you. They're thinking a lot about something that happened between the two of you, and they're in a lot of regret about it. Okay, we have the world card. You and this person could be at a distance from each other. Okay, so I believe that your person is, you know, they're upset about an ending here. Yeah, the tower card at the bottom of the deck. Your person is in a lot of regret and they're feeling very upset at the fact that there was an ending between the two of you. Okay, maybe this person put you through a lot of stuff. Okay, and this person could be in a lot of regret about it. Okay, um... <clears throat> This ending here is causing a lot of pain, a lot of depression, a lot of feeling sad here, okay? Spirit, how does this person feel about my Leos? How does this person currently feel about my Leo spirit? How does this person feel about my Leo spirit? Okay. We have the two of swords, okay? Could be dealing with the Libra, all right? So your person is feeling very indecisive. They're trying to make a decision about something. Hmm, the fool. Okay, this person do it doesn't really know. They're not really sure um, how to maybe come forward towards you because of this ending, because of what they've, what they've done to you, Leo. Okay, but I feel like with the fool card here, this person is wanting to you know, take a chance, take a risk, take a leap of faith towards this connection and towards you, okay? Yeah, we have the hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This person is in a lot of sadness, a lot of regret here about something that they've done, okay? Um, they're very ashamed about it, okay? We have the hermit. This person has been reflecting on this. They've been thinking about this for a while. They're keeping it to themselves about this is something that, you know, they're they've been feeling you know it's like they had an epiphany they had a realization okay yeah the five of swords this person was playing a lot of mind games okay yeah they was playing a lot of mind games they was causing a lot of conflict a lot of um they caused a tower moment is what i'll say and now it's like they're in a lot of regret for for putting you through that and um treating you like that okay the two of pentacles, yeah, I feel like this person could be juggling two things, something about them juggling two things, um, that could be another person, maybe something just financially here, okay, um, or it could also represent that this person is still, is very indecisive, okay, they, they not, they don't really have an answer as of right now, because maybe they're, you know, they're scared about what can happen, and maybe what you can say, what you'll say to them when they come forward, okay, Spirit, what do you have for my Leos? How does this person feel with my Leos? Yeah, the Tower card again. Okay, with the Queen of Cups. Alright, so yeah, I feel like this person caused a huge Tower moment. They caused a lot of conflict, a lot of 
uh, <clears throat> an ending, a lot of destruction in this in this connection here. But they feel like you're very they they're very attracted to you. They they have a lot of emotions for you here, okay. And also, I feel like um, <clears throat> this person has a lot of love for you, no matter what. Like the love is here, but it's like they're so regretful for what they've put you through here, okay. And they've been thinking about this for a while now. And I'm also getting this feeling that they've been lonely without you. You know, this ending here is causing them to have a lot of, you know, depression. You know, it's really messing up their mental health right now about you guys not together in this separation here between the two of you. Okay, it's like they wish things could have been better. They wish that you guys can take a leap of faith and can, you know, work something out here. You know, but it's like they're so indecisive. They're not really sure about what to do or like how to come about it. Okay, or this person could be juggling somebody or is juggling two things here. Okay, but I feel like now this person is having a huge wake up call and, you know, wanting to come forward and maybe potentially work something out with you. Okay. So let's see how you feel, my Leo's. Spirit, how does my Leos currently feel about this person? How does my Leos feel about this person, Spirit? How does my Leos feel about this person? Okay, we have the we have the Seven of Cups, the Chariot, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, yeah. I feel like you guys are very guarded to this person. You're very defensive. You're, you're not really trusting this person all the way here. Okay, like you... Do not want this person to come in and, and, you know, do what they've done to you before. You don't want this person to continue to, you know, give play some mind games towards you. And that's why you're very guarded. You're, you're, you're being very defensive and you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your energy here. And I feel like you guys are not even sure, like, if it is the right, is if it is the right move to come forward to, to this person, okay, with the chariot. You could be good with the cancer, okay? And yeah, like you, you're not really sure about how to, if you, if you, oh my gosh, I can't speak today. <laughs> you're not really sure if you can, oh my gosh, why can't I speak? Okay, Leo, you're not sure if you want to come forward to, to this person, okay? Um, maybe you do have many options, you know, you're very open to a bunch of other things here. And I feel like you're not really sure or you're not really trusting your heart to open up towards this person because of what they've done to you, okay? Spirit, how does my Leo's feel about this person? Okay. We have the King of Cups, all right? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We have the Three of Cups and then in the, the Eight of Swords. With the moon, yeah. This person put you through a third party. This is the energy. This person has put you through a through a third party situation, okay? And they've been hiding a lot of secrets, a lot of things that they weren't telling you here, and it made you feel stuck. And now it's like, Leo, you don't even know if you're going to trust this person. You don't even know if you're going to let your guard down towards this person because... Uh, because of what this person has done to you, because of what they've put you through here, okay? But we do have the King of Cups. There is love for them, okay? It could be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but no matter what, there is love for this person. Like, you really did love this person, but it's like it was so unexpected for them to put you through a third-party situation and make you feel so stuck, okay? Like, that's the energy that I'm getting here. Yeah, this person was juggling you. They were, you know, maybe dealing with somebody else here, um, not really giving you the energy that you wanted, okay? The love here wasn't being reciprocated, maybe, okay? The Empress, wow. All right, could be done with the Libra, okay? So this talks about, um, <clears throat> this can also talk about pregnancy, you guys. So maybe your person is looking to, you know, get you pregnant here, okay? Or maybe... You are looking, some something with a child here. It could be you were looking to get pregnant by this person or this person got you pregnant but put you through a third-party situation. Yeah, there's a lot of hurt in this connection. You're not really, you're not really satisfied for what this, how this person has put you through so much stuff. They put you through a third party. You know, they were telling a lot of secrets. They were telling you a lot of lies here, okay? 
they they also could have cheated and put you through a whole bunch of stuff. And it's like you're not like your trust issues, like your trust issues is being questioned. You're not really sure if you should really come forward to this person because of the hurt that they put you through, because of you know the pain and all the toxic energy that they put you through. Okay, like that's the energy that I'm getting here from you guys. Okay, so let's see what messages the universe has has for us. Universe, what do you have for my Leos? What messages do you have for my Leo spirit? What messages do you have for my Leo? Okay, we have recovery. Okay, so spirit wants you to know to recover. Okay, you guys are going to heal yourself because of this heartbreak, because of what's going on between the two of you. Okay, um, yeah, the universe wants you to know to, you know, just heal and just focus on yourself. And I do believe you are going to get that healing. You are going to be, you know, not feeling so hurt because you're going to be more free is what I'm getting. Okay, yeah, the universe wants you to know remain positive. All right, Leo, don't, you know, go crazy with yourself or go crazy, you know, with other people here. All right, spirit wants you to know to remain positive, you know. Don't think, like, you're not going to get what you want. Okay, and yeah. Spirit, what do you have for my Leos? Okay. We have, if you believe, okay, and we have, you're ready. Okay, so the universe wants you to know that if you believe that, you know, you're going to, like, you're going to get your justice, you're going to get your peace then it's going to happen, all right? And they also want you to know to remain positive. You know, don't think that you're not going to be happy. You're not going to get what you want because you are, okay? You're going to be healing. You're going to be recovering from any type of heartbreak that you've been going through, okay? And you're going to be more happy. You're going to be more positive, okay? Spirit wants you to know that you're ready. Be ready because it's going to happen. It's going to come for you, okay, y'all? So that's going to be it for today's reading. Um, if it resonated with you, please give this video a thumbs up, alright? And, um, yeah, like I said before, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can look in the description box down below. It'll tell you everything that you need, alright, y'all? And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!